All right, guys, so I was asked a question on how to attain a more vertical or a, yeah, a more vertical shin angle while squatting. All right, I'm not answering or doing this video to say that I believe that a vertical shin angle is optimal. Uh, I do to an extent. Um, however, um, it's not necessary and it's not the only way to squat. I'm simply going to demonstrate how to limit forward knee movement in a squat if it's an issue for you and you want to correct that. Okay, so you've got two body parts essentially that hinge in a squat. You have the knee and you have the hip. Hips hinge backwards and forwards. As you notice, the knee didn't move, whereas here the knee hinges also forwards and backwards. Okay. Now, what you can see here, and you hear this cue all the time in powerlifting, keep your chest up, stay as tall as possible. Okay, so what happens when somebody hears that though, is they often wind up in a position such as this, and they try to squat like this. And as you can see, the knees are going quite a bit forward. Okay, now, how do we limit knee flexion? Well, we have to have more hip movement. If we want the knee to limit going forward, we have to move the hips backwards. That way we can wind up in a very center of gravity, the bar straight over our midfoot. If I continue to go here, I'm gonna wind up into this position where this is about all the ankle mobility that I've got. So in order for me to squat any deeper in this position, the only option that I personally have as a lifter is to raise my heels up with all these shoes, which will then allow me to squat much deeper. However, if you'll notice, still not to depth. Why are we still not to depth? My ass is on my calves. I can't go any lower, I'm bottomed out. The reason in powerlifting, powerlifting depth, this is a common misconception. This is why ass to grass squatting and Olympic lifting in fucking commercial gyms does not apply to powerlifting. Powerlifting, the hip crease, top of the hip crease must pass the top of the knee. Well, watch. Every inch that those knees go forward, they also fucking go lower to the ground, okay? When that happens, that means the hip has to go even further to catch the knee. The problem is, depending on how you're built, when you're squatting like this, you may not be able to attain that position. I can't go any lower, all right? Pop, lock, drop it as low as it goes. Still not quite to depth, okay? Now, what happens when I go from here to hip hinge, bam. Now all of a sudden I can squat, right? That really hurt my hamstring, ow. Okay, so question, limiting forward knee movement. If we don't want the knee to go forward, the hips must go backwards. Boom, all right, now I'm gonna show you strictly hips backwards. Hips back, load it, load it, load it. Now, this is about as low as I can get in this extreme shin vertical angle. All right, you notice I've got to be much more bent over to do that. And we don't necessarily want that to happen. Forward lean is not a bad thing, but we do want to limit it as much as possible just to get into the position of the bottom. So how do we fight the forward lean with a vertical shin angle? Show it from the side, back, 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 loading the hamstrings, I'm as loaded as I could be. Not a horrible place to deadlift from. Definitely not a great place to squat from because you're still six inches, well fuck, 12 inches high. All right, how do we fix it? From here, all we do is externally rotate the hips and the knees at the same time, twisting on the foot or pushing the floor out, simply trying to open our hips. I'm gonna show this from the front so it makes more sense in a second. But I want you to see the difference between the depth and torso angle. So once again, loaded. Shins are as vertical as they'll go. Only way I can get any lower is to just kind of keep going back. Or externally rotate. Open. Now all of a sudden, when you see this, all of a sudden I can sit up a little bit more right and I can keep dropping. Okay, so back, 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 back. Shins are vertical. It's about as vertical as they can get. We're still not deep enough. What do I do? 
Externally rotate the hips, allows me to sit up more and drop down quite a bit. Um, once again, I'm not arguing that one is better than the other. I'm not arguing that you should have a straight uh, shin or a vertical shin when you're in the bottom of the hole. I personally do believe that we want it to be as vertical as possible while still hitting depth. Uh, but truth of the matter is, you're probably going to be, most people are going to be somewhere in the middle of a knee hinge and a hip hinge. You're almost going to want to start them somewhat at the same time. So rather than taking it from an extreme here or an extreme here, most people are going to find something more like to wind up in that natural position. It's going to be a mix of both. However, if you're in multiply or something along those lines, or you're specifically squatting to target as much posterior chain as possible, then as straight and as wide as the shin angle as we can get is where we want to be. I hope that helps you guys.